G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Right, Sunday sort of lunchtime here in Australia. Market has gone down again, down to 2.5 trillion exactly. So half a trillion dollars has been lost in the last few days. Because again, well not the last few days, but sort of maybe last five or six days, nearly a week. But we got up to that $3 trillion market was 3.0, I think 105 trillion. And then we just got rejected pretty quickly. And again, there's a whole lot of things that went on. The options on Friday occurred. You know, we've got the, the new variant of uh, the disease out there that has people worried. But look, what you need to remember is all markets got hit. So there really was no safe market. Unless you were lucky enough to be sitting on a boatload of cash, then congratulations, now's the time, uh, well, again, never financial advice, I'll start with that, it's always personal opinion, but now probably wouldn't be a bad time to start buying in. And as I've said, look, that's what I do, I buy the dips, when something is at a discount, that's when I buy. There are occasions where I'll buy things at all-time highs because I've just missed them. Solana, uh, I did buy at an all-time high, uh, it is... I think 171 173 dollars is my buy-in price and look that's just because i missed the boat but it seems to be a good project got a lot going on so i had to build a position in it it's not all my money i didn't throw the kitchen sink at it and look if it continues to go down i'll continue to buy more simple as that because it is cheaper than its old all-time high basically everything outside of some of the metaverse plays uh, at all time uh, at discounts the metaverse plays are at all time highs and look I did buy some of them uh, we'll have a look at those sort of shortly but again overall market down and continuing to go down Bitcoin was at 54,000 before now it's at 53,000 I do think we are you know near a bottom but look again no one really knows and it's never financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor but again, I will say all I can tell you is I am buying at the moment. I bought the other day. I'll wait and see what happens tomorrow and Monday and you know Tuesday. And if it continues to go down, I will continue to scale in because I believe we are still not anywhere near the top of the bull market yet. And there's a whole lot of on-chain data, on chain data, excuse me, that will help look, uh, sort of prove that. And we'll look at that very shortly. But again. Bitcoin dominance up ever so slightly, but it's under 41%, so dropping. Not a lot of volume at the moment. Again, a lot of people panicking, taking profits and getting scared and all the rest of it. Bitcoin price under $54,000. And I did say that I thought it had come down to uh, 53, maybe even down to sort of 48,000. We'll have a look at the charts shortly. And East gas, ETH gas prices, sorry, sitting around about $10.90. As we can see, it's generally a bit of red. There are still some greens in there, so it's not like there's no profits to be made whatsoever, but pretty red considering. So let's have a look. What's performed well in the last 24 hours, considering the market's down? Only 1.5% though, so it's not you know, all doom and gloom. Well, there we go. Have a look at that. AMP, 23%. Basic attention token, 10%. Render, 10%. And then we just got some single digit sort of movers there. So not a lot of gains in the top 100. And again, to be expected when the market is down. So let's have a look at the flip side of the coin then and what hasn't fared so well in the last 24 hours. Gala. This is one of the coins I bought. God, <laughs> killing me. Of course it was going to happen. Again, I bought it at an all-time sort of high. And I don't mind because it's something I'll just hold on to. And look, if it goes to zero... I didn't put my life savings into it. I just saw that it was part of that you know, whole metaverse space. I had to get a bigger position in it. Really, all I had was engine, which has done extremely well. Don't get me wrong. But I had to get more of a position in engine. So Gala is one of the ones I bought and down about 20% from where I bought it. But anyway, what do you do? Live pair down, R weave down, curve down. Again, this was up the other day. So everything is down at the moment. But traditional stock markets are down as well. It doesn't really matter where you go, except for maybe the property market. Maybe they're not down at the moment. Sand is another one I did decide to buy. So again, now it's down sort of 13%. I'm not sure exactly where I bought it. I know I've definitely down some money. I bought some more engine. And again, even that's down. But what I bought... I'm not worried if it goes down because I believe we're close to a bottom anyway. I don't think we're going to go into some big major sort of downturn, but it could happen. And if it does happen, then so be it. Again, I haven't poured my life savings into these coins. I've just put a few dollars into them to build a position. Well, Engine already had a position. It'd be hard for Engine to ever go to zero for me other than if the project went to zero because I did get it at such a good price. 
But look, lots of double-digit losses. I mean, look at that. And then plenty of high single-digit losses as well. So things aren't doing so well. But if you have an investor's mind cap on and you believe in crypto and you believe in certain projects, then you're buying them at 18% off if you believe in Gala. 13% off if you believe it in Engine from its all-time high. 10% on Audius. Wax, 9% if you believe in Wax. You want to buy in the red, and it's easy to say everyone's like, I'll do it, I'll do it, but then when they see days like this, they don't. As I said, I am, and I don't care if it continues to go down, I'll continue to buy, but I really will be focusing on sort of Bitcoin mostly if it continues to go down, but more so stable coins if it's continuing to drop. I believe we're near the bottom and I think we make a move up. But I will definitely be putting money into Bitcoin, only a little bit though, focusing more on stable coins if things do continue to drop. And the stable, well not so much the stable coins, but you know, cash sitting on the side will then be deployed when I think we have found a bottom. But again, it'll never be all of it, it'll just be probably half of it in case I'm wrong and it continues to go down. Then again, I still focus on just you know chipping away at Bitcoin, little bits here and there. But if we're in a downward market, like in a bear market, I'm probably putting 70% into cash sitting on the sides. And just, you know, the 30% I'll put into Bitcoin really, but maybe a couple of other things of uh, bigger cap plays that I think still would be uh, a good long-term buy, but mainly just Bitcoin and that 70% in cash sitting on the side waiting for a bottom. Anyway, let's move on from that. All right, let's have a look at the chart. So this is the Bitcoin chart. Again, we rolled over. Now look where it is. I did say the other day, I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin doesn't come down right to that $53,000 mark, but possibly we're going to come down to around about here, $49,000, $48,000 level, because we've got a lot of confluence and support and a whole different bunch of levels. Now, I'm not saying it is going to make it down here. I think we probably are close. I think we probably come down to somewhere about here, fifty-two, fifty-three thousand. dollars but if that breaks... I definitely think it's going to be somewhere in and around about here, sort of 49, 50,000, maybe even as low as sort of, you know, 47 ish thousand. I think the bottom will be found somewhere here. Never financial advice, I got to say that. And I just want to make sure that you're not listening to anyone, uh, any one person, including myself, and just thinking they know it all. Definitely not the case. That's just an educated guess. Now, have a look at this. What I want you to notice is where we are on the RSI though. So we're down around about sort of, where are we? 37, let's say. Now I wanna have a look at the RSI over history. It's This is low, not the lowest and can go, because look, it goes down here, but I want you to remember this 37 mark. And then we're gonna scale right out, we're going way back. And look where we are on the RSI. We're down around about here. We are at a low point. Can it go lower? Absolutely it can. Of course it can go lower. But where does Bitcoin spend most of its time compared to where we are now? We're at about 37. We're rarely ever down here for long. And we're rarely ever down here full stop. You have a look at that chart down there where this line is here. Look where we are generally. It'll be like well over 70% of the time we are above this. Rarely do we ever go below this. That has got to tell you something. That's got to tell you, number one, we could go lower, absolutely. But number two, we are more likely to go up than we are down. But if we do go down, we don't really have a whole lot further to go. But again, it's not that we can't, but these are really extreme times. This is literally, you know, big scary moves. And Bitcoin's just not there at the moment. So again, I'll scale in. So if we go from 37 and we get down to 31, I'm scaling in. If we get down to 25, I'm continuing to scale in because I know this really is most likely the very bottom if we do manage to get down here. So that's what I'm looking at. The RSI is telling me that this is a good buying point. Again, 50 is the midway point. You know, up here, probably time to start thinking about taking profits. If you're taking profits, if it's a long-term strategy, then it doesn't really matter. Down here, buy time. Now, is it the exact perfect time? No, it could be down lower, but definitely a buy time according to, you know, sort of statistics that when the RSI is this low, it's generally a good time to buy. All right, now other things I want to have a look at. Pure multiple, look where we are. This has picked the top perfectly every time. Top, top, top. There was a top here. 
There was a top here. It's done it every single time. Where are we? We're not even close. We're at about the halfway point. Yet a lot of people get really panicked. Raul Paul said it perfectly. If you aren't ready and can't handle 50% dip volatility, even maybe more, 80, 90% in your altcoins, you're not ready for crypto. You shouldn't be in this space if you can't handle it. It is, it's halfway to where it definitely could go. Think about that. Bitcoin's at 50,000. Again, a lot of people saying, you know, 100,000 is going to be the top thereabouts. Well, we're halfway there. Could we go down lower? Yeah, maybe we've got to go down to 40, 30,000 even. I don't think it's going down that low. I think we probably, like I said, somewhere between sort of 47,000 to about 50,000. I would be surprised if it goes lower than that. I think we're pretty close to the bottom. But all these on-chain data things are saying that we're not at the top yet. Let's go to another one. Pi cycle indicator. Have a look at this orange line. Usually this orange line is the bottom. We, excuse me, rarely spend any time below it. Most of the time we are above it. We're below it here, we're below it here, below it here, but not for very long. We're below uh, it here. Again, not for very long. Most of the time, Bitcoin is above this orange line. Now let's have a look where we are. Sorry. I can't even show you that. Now I've got to try and refresh that. Pi cycle top indicator. Look where we are. We are right on that orange line at the moment. So could we go under? Yes. But most of the time we are above this orange line and we are sitting right on it at the moment. Again, let's go to the golden ratio multiplier. We are down in the lower ranges of this. We are between this green line here and this orange line here. And again, we don't spend too much time under this orange line. And now we're almost right down on it again. So I've got to go in here, grab this little bit. We're almost down at the bottom. Let's go over to the Bitcoin logarithmic chart. We're only halfway to where we normally are, to the top. So all the on-chain data is saying that this is not the top. It doesn't mean we can't go lower again. I want to stress that. But I would rather be buying at 50% or less discount than buying 10% off from the all-time highs. So everything says buy crypto uh, fear and greed index now yesterday it was 21 so it's come up a little bit but it's still in the red we want to buy into people's fear and we want to sell into people's greed yeah I, I don't know what else to say there is a lot of fear at the moment and it's you know shown by this and a lot of the price action that we see this is people panicking and selling again traders trying to get in and out and people freaking out they see 20 percent down and they think oh god this is it it's going even lower it's funny how if you have someone else investing your money, you don't ever look at this stuff. Other people don't invest for you in cryptocurrencies at the moment. You can't go to a, a private sort of firm and have them do it for you unless you're in some kind of hedge fund. When you're in crypto, you're doing it all yourself, so you're looking at it regularly, and you'd be panicking and wanting to sell. Whereas you know things like 401ks, uh, retirement funds here in Australia, you know a lot of it is done by other companies so you're not looking at the prices every day you don't even notice or really care what's happening with the price because someone else is handling your money it's only when you come to something like crypto or investing your own money and you start to see the volatility of any market and you get freaked out and you want to sell Raul Paul hit it perfectly if you are not prepared for 50 plus percent volatility to the downside you're not ready for crypto. You're not ready to change your life because that's what crypto can really do. Unfortunately, it can be for the bad sometimes, particularly if you buy it at an all-time high. But if you are in good projects, you generally only have to hold for 300 days, i.e. a year, and the market will have turned. We haven't had bear markets last for more than a year. Like The worst of it happens in a year, and then it slowly starts to make its way back up again. It doesn't mean you're in profit. Again, if you bought at the all-time high, you're probably going to have to wait about three years to be back in profit. But in three years' time, and that next year after it, you will probably make crazy gains based on, again, history. And we can't always guarantee that... You know, the history will repeat itself, but gee, it does like to, you know, do things fairly similar time and time again. So for all those panicking, 
try not to panic. Now, I just want to show you the ETH chart last. I said the other day that uh, this was forming a W pattern and it could have been super bullish. So I said it comes down here, comes up, sets a lower high, comes up, and then we needed this high to break above here and look how close it got. So we needed Ethereum to go above 4,560 and look at that wicks. They were oh so close. They just needed to break that and that would have been the W pattern. Usually they are very bullish, but they broke and rolled over and here we are. But what I want you to remember is here's Bitcoin's all-time high. You're currently buying it at a 17% discount. And that's the only way you should think. You're buying Ethereum at a 17% discount. If it makes it to its old all-time high, you're going to make 17%. And that doesn't include if you're buying Ethereum back here. Bitcoin, exactly the same. Here's Bitcoin's all-time high. You're buying Bitcoin at a 21.4% discount. I don't know what else to say. This is when you want to be buying. Personal opinion, never financial advice. But I'm buying. If you're freaking out in the market, calm your roll. Again, just, you know, you probably don't understand the markets well enough. If you're losing leverage and getting wrecked, we'll stop using leverage. It's a whole lot easier to be an investor. Investors generally make more money. Only the really, really good traders that, you know, top maybe 5 to 3% of all traders can really make money trading. Investing is so much easier. You don't pay half the capital gains tax that they will have to on that because they're constantly buying in and out. You just got to buy and hold. And you want to be buying when things are not at an all time high. All right, hopefully that has helped anyone who's watching my video and is freaking out a bit. I know, look, even I still get get a bit shaken when I see things like this. And look, it will be scary if this actually is the bear market and we're going lower. But for me, if it is the bear market, I'm going to continue to buy in. Uh, again, mostly cash. We'll be just sitting on the sides, just chipping away mainly at Bitcoin, maybe Ethereum. And then I'll be waiting for a bottoming pattern for things to turn around and start to make its way back up. Uh, and that's when I will start to deploy more cash. But I do not think we're there yet. I think we have a long way to go. And it's based on all those on-chain data that we're looking at. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment. But if you are, congratulations to you. And I'll see you next time.